my name is Ashley and I am sharing my paranormal video with you and uh, this happened about 1998 beginning of 1998 because my daughter Sierra was born November 1998 and I was probably about two months pregnant with her and my aunt she had breast cancer and it went into her brain um, and she was in hospice and I went to visit her and I sat next to her and everybody else was outside um, because they had just done a, a checkup on her for her blood pressure. And another cousin of mine was sitting across the way. And I sat there and I picked up her hand and she was obviously not uh, aware or conscious. She was in a coma. And when I picked up her hand, I felt a, it, a surge of electricity. It, it almost was like she walked right through me. And I looked over at her and she was still breathing, um, the same as before. And it scared me so bad that I dropped her hand. I looked over at my cousin at the time, my marriage, and she didn't seem to notice, so I didn't say anything. And probably about uh, 20 minutes later, she had passed. And I firmly believed that I felt her go through me. So at the time I was pregnant with my daughter Sierra who is um, uh, gonna be 20 years old now and I didn't want to tell my grandmother because I had just gone through um, a bad breakup and did not want her to be disappointed that I was pregnant again. Uh, even though my other child was six years younger. So <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. Um, I was afraid to tell her, so I didn't. And she lived about two hours away, so I avoided, you know, that going and seeing her because I didn't want her to know I was pregnant and I didn't want to disappoint her. So the entire nine months that I was pregnant with Sierra, I would have dreams um, and it was my aunt, but I couldn't see her. I could just hear her. And I tried to call my grandma many times. But sometimes I'd call and I'd talk for hours, but I'd chicken out. I, I did not want to disappoint her. So um, I kept having these dreams from my aunt telling me that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And it got to be to where I was about eight months pregnant. And I was laying in my room and I woke up and it was, you know, dark in my room. However, there was a little bit of light coming through and a mist. I, I looked up and there was a mist literally right above my closet door. So if I was laying in my bed and I looked up towards the closet, I mean, I didn't see a person. I didn't see like, didn't look like a ghost. It just looked like a mist floating in the air. And I threw the blankets over my head because I was terrified. I still hadn't told my grandma yet. Finally, I mean, I was getting down to the wire. I had to tell her. Uh, turns out she knew the entire time. Um, my sister told her. Nobody told me that. I guess that was a lesson to be learned. And um, as soon as my grandmother found out, I got no more visits from my aunt. And that's my paranormal story. Thank you and happy Halloween. Hi everybody, my name is Leo Brown. I am a psychic medium, life coach, and motivational speaker. So, it is now October the 1st, and I wanna share my paranormal story. For me, I had never really experienced the paranormal. I thought that that was just stuff you only saw in the movies. Um, I was not, you know, really aware of it until I would say I was 20, I think, 27. Yes, I was 27 years old. So it was actually right around this time I had gone through a really, really, really deep and very dark depression. And it first started out by me having a dream. I ended up having a dream that I was alone in this old house. I And in the home, it was like this TV that had, like, it was really fat and TV, really, uh, like lots of white noise. And I'm like, okay, you know, what's the big deal about that? But I couldn't get out of it, couldn't get out of the, the, the house. 
And in the house, I was confronted by this old woman. And she said, you know, she she really didn't say anything. She gave me more of a look. And uh, I remember trying to get out of the house. And I, was, and I was trying to get out of the house. The door slammed. And I was like, okay. And it locked. And I woke up. And a very good friend of mine was like, that's a really deep and meaningful dream. And then soon after that, that's when my paranormal experience started to, started to happen. So one of my big things uh, for me, when I was young, one of my biggest phobias was, was the dark. I was afraid of the dark. And I noticed that whenever I would go to take a shower or I would go to just use the bathroom, anywhere where I was alone, the lights would just go off. And things, and, and it felt as if like time would just stop. And I'm like, okay, all right, what the hell is this? Then it became where I would experience like cold chills or I would hear doors slam, open and close, or windows would slam shut, you know, things like that. And it was always when I was alone. It would never occur when I was around like friends or, you know, people like that. Like when I was around people, everything was fine. So it would happen whenever I was alone. So I'm thinking, okay, I must be losing my mind. And, or was left of it at the time. And um, I had a friend of mine say, she said, well, have you thought, have you ever thought that maybe what's going on is that, you know, a lot of your anger, a lot of your depression has now manifested itself into something that is unexplainable because the paranormal, as a lot of us know, means unexplained. So I'm like, no, I never thought about that. And it led me into going into therapy and kind of working through a lot of issues when I kind of working through a lot of issues. And after that, I think it stopped. And it was actually around the time that I actually started to embrace my mediumship abilities. And, you know, I always thought that mediumship would be scary, that it would be like the movies, or it would be, um, or it would just be really, really like dangerous. Like I always view mediumship as like a dangerous thing, like you don't mess with that kind of thing. But I mean, so far it's actually been good. It's been empowering, it's been healing, it's been helpful. And, you know, I know this that this is actually really short, but that's pretty much the gist of my paranormal story. I really don't um, have anything else to say, except for, for those of you who are going through paranormal activity of any type, you know, whether, I would say research it, like research, you know, why, looking to what's going on, what may cause it, because it may be an emotional issue. It may be that the spirit may be, may be attached to the land. Uh, there may be something about you that attracts it to you. Look, in, look into those different aspects. And I would also say don't fear it because when you fear something, that gives it more power. It grows. And that's true with anything. So I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, this is me, Leo Brown. And I thank you, lovely T, for psychic T, for allowing me to do this wonderful video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.